I'm sharing DIY wood tray ideas in three different home decor styles. It's Mindy and let's get started. For this first tray, which is going to be farmhouse style, I started with a 15 by 11 inch piece of wood, which is actually two boards glued together. I'm simply going to take two smaller pieces of wood that are about two inches wide and glue them on like this. These are all scraps and cutoffs I had on hand, but if you were going to buy the boards, you'd get a 1x6 and 1x3, then cut them down to size. The wood glue I use is Tight Bond 2, which you can find at just about any store that sells wood glue. You want to use a generous amount of glue, but not so much that it's dripping off, and you'll want to spread it evenly over the surface. I made sure the edges lined up well and then clamped it to dry. I learned this clamping technique from Steve Ramsey on the channel Woodworking for Mere Mortals and that extra piece of wood just helps the two surfaces bond evenly. He uses this to glue boards together on the edge like those the first piece that I showed you but it also works this way. And I clamped both sides just like this. Once the glue was dry I used this wood tint. This is by Folk Art and it's a water-based stain and I just applied it using a foam brush and then wiped off any excess using a paper towel. I love using this because it's non-toxic, which is perfect for making smaller projects like this inside the house. And it dries in about half an hour. When it was all dry, I used a satin varnish, this is also by Folk Art, to seal the tray. I did two coats of this with a brush, and you don't want to overbrush this to avoid getting any bubbles. To finish off this tray, I added these drawer pulls that are very farmhouse and you'll always want to pre-drill when adding hardware to avoid splitting the wood. That is it for the farmhouse tray. This is big enough to use as a serving tray for snacks, but also small enough to use as decor on your kitchen counter, coffee table, or entryway, wherever, if you love the farmhouse style. This next tray is also very simple to make and it's going to be boho style. I'm starting with another cutoff piece that is also two boards that are edge glued, and I added feet to this tray using these wood cubes from Dollar Tree. And as usual with Dollar Tree wood products, not all pieces all cre are created equal, so I had to sort through to find four of these that were just about the same height. I measured in about an inch from each corner and used wood glue to attach each cube. Oh. 
like I said, I wanted to give this one a boho look, so I made a stencil using my Cricut and cut out this mud cloth inspired design. My go-to material for stenciling is Duck Brand Adhesive, and I'll show you a picture in just a second. It's adhesive shelf liner, which you can get at Walmart for just under $2. If you have a Cricut, the trick to cutting this thin material is to use the window cling setting. I decided to go with black chalk paint and I always use the Dollar Tree makeup sponges for stenciling projects. Two light coats was all it took for solid paint coverage with this stencil. I decided to add beaded handles to this tray, so I added these large wood beads that I had on hand to some floral wire and I drilled holes in the tray to feed the wire through. Here's a little tip when you're drilling through wood. <laughs> That's it for this one. I'm loving the raw wood look of this tray and it's going to work perfectly in my living room. The third and final tray idea is more of a modern style and is a little bit more technical but still doable as a beginner woodworking project. I'm starting with a piece of quarter inch plywood that's about 9 by 12 inches and I measured and marked the center of the board lengthwise so I could attach these small angled pieces. To get these smaller pieces I took scrap wood and cut them down to one and a half inch wide boards with my table saw then cut each one of these at a 25 degree angle on my miter saw. I made sure all the pieces lined up using a ruler then used wood glue to attach each of the angled pieces to the plywood. and I'm adding wood glue to all the surfaces that will touch. I clamped this the best I could, but just adding some heavy items would work as well. 
Once it was dry, I trimmed off all the excess wood using my miter and table saw to get the tray nice and even. I also had to do a bit of sanding to make sure the surface was level. I added a frame to this tray using some half inch think thick wood pieces and of course wood glue. You could use nails here, but it's not necessary. One of you had suggested using Danish oil on my slat shelf, so I thought I'd try it out for the first time. This medium walnut was the only color available when I was looking, so I went with it, but it's not my favorite. You guys can let me know what you think. It is easy to apply though, and after a quick YouTube search, I went for it just using paper towels to rub it on and then wipe off the excess. Here it is after it was dry. And these are the handles I decided to use on this tray. Let me know what you think of this wood color. I hope you enjoyed these DIY wood tray ideas. I will be adding some wood trays to my Etsy shop, so I'll go ahead and link that in the description box in case you're interested. Let me know which tray style was your favorite, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, thanks for watching!